Can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. All right. The last video was probably very weird when it uploaded on YouTube. I apologize, but it had some brief nudity in it from a woman who was violently stabbed and had all of her clothes taken off. So I had to bleep it out. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around and he gets another in the court? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? You finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of shooting. Some opportunists who've been reading about the I hate my partner, by the way. <laughs> Such a jerk. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be coming up with a monitor for the terrible reason. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with one person. Wow, this guy's a total another jerk. Man, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't. You understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You'll stop it. Blah, blah, blah. Nero, Nero. Ding, dong, ding. Investigating. The crime scene. The Bomba Club. Alright, let's see who we can investigate here. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway. How are you? And are we working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Oh, we got her name. Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves in those nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Oh, uh, I'd like a whiskey. Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in the little park. Pour me three fingers of rye. Where is he? There he is. Can't miss him. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? He looks distraught. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go away. Oh, she was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Selena's. Well, it's a lovely woman. Spe suspect seen at the victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selena already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Um. I don't. I, I think he's looking at me. I don't know. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. Around 11. I'm not sure if he's telling the truth or not. He seems to draw by the license plate. Oh, we got the license plate. Ooh. I think this could be a great help, sir. Brown heels. What's this? At the Bomba Club, get Dick McGold to give you the license plate of the Celine Henry's male companion. Oh, I must have gotten it right. <laughs> that confirms that. Sweet. All right, let's go to the ring that was stolen off her finger, her Mrs. bloody Henry finger. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. 
Uh, I think he's kind of down himself now. I think you know where the ring came from, man. I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it. Oh, Here's I got him. I carried a torch for Selena those days. This I always had. The old man never knew about it. All right, now knowledge of husband. Do you know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her while I was finished. Put up with a load of shit. <laughs> kind of like you. <laughs> Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Maybe I can use an intuition point now. All right, that's helpful. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Ooh. Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Yeah, he was probably beating her up. That was the guy with the V for Vendetta hat. Thanks, Mr. McCole. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows, I hate to send her home in enough chaos to remember that. All right. Where is that goddamn place? Let's get out of here. Yeah, stop freaking flirting with women, you fat ass. My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Oh, shut your face. You're a jerk, you know that? Do -do 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 -do. I wanted to hop the taxi. Oh well. Sure you do, Grandma. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Let's call in and see if we can find the address. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2 boy 8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay any details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. Also, call my sister while you're at it. Alright, we're all set now. Oh, oh, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god, this guy could join the marathon for crying out loud. Alright, we'll let that asshole drive. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, get behind the oh, wheel, fat ass. Where are we headed? The residence of what's her name? You find the booze helps you get through a working day. Sharp is my investigatory instincts, fellas. I don't trust this guy. This fat ass is pissing me off. You collect today. Smart man. I like the old dude I had. I think he retired though. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. No, you picked the wrong job with the health and thirst defense. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, Clara. I want to punch this guy in the face. Come on, let me. Well, why can't you let me get in a fist fight with him or something? Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Yes, that's the drink slowing you down. Oh, God, brother, oh, brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Thank God, I'm going to freaking rip this guy's testicles out and shove him down his mouth. Freaking meatball salad right there. It's pissing me off. Alright, let me load up uh, Sony Vegas and make sure it's working. It's been a while since I've used it. The last time I used it was when I made Phil's remix. I want to make sure it's working so I can put the first video in that had the freaking nude woman on the ground. Let's go investigate. Hopefully there's no shootout here. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. What are you talking about, buddy?
There we go. Vegas is working. Oh, what's going on? Someone broke the window? I have a feeling someone's in the house. I'll let my fat friend get shot. Side window's been jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Oh, more t clues. Come on, I'm trying to press A. Holy shit. Family burnt to death. Cops say house fires deaths are suspicious. Another newspaper. Sweet. All right, Shit, Vegas is open. Are you taking the medication I had prescribed? You said the house would be empty. Oh, it's this doctor guy. It's Fontaine. Circumstances. I really have a feeling that this guy's a bad guy. All right, I don't want to freaking waste my time with that. That guy's probably gonna show up later in the game. So 